Hokkaido is the northernmost of Japan's four main islands. It's a land of volcanoes and hot springs and lush green landscapes. The rich coastal plains provide a haven for a large variety of wildlife and long tracks of crops bloom in the rich volcanic soil. It's also home to one of Japan's most familiar animal faces, the Hokkaido red fox. The red fox is usually a solitary animal, hunting and sleeping alone. But when it comes to raising the young, it's a family affair. Foxes will band together in a variety of ways to help feed and protect their cubs. In just a little over six months, these young pups will have to leave the family circle to survive on their own in an environment that despite its beauty can be harsh and dangerous. It's winter in Hokkaido, and the Sea of Okhotsk is blanketed in drift ice. The drift ice was formed in Russia, then carried by winds and sea currents on a 620-mile journey. Minimum temperatures in these winter months can drop to four degrees below zero but life here flourishes. Stellar sea eagles have followed the drift ice all the way from Russia. Hokkaido sika deer are abundant on the island, forming herds a hundred strong. Coastal lakes are host to many species of aquatic bird. Red crown cranes, a Japanese symbol of luck and long life, are among the rarest cranes in the world. It's February, time for this Hokkaido red fox to get busy. It's nearing the end of the mating season, and this female, or vixen, needs to find a partner. She spreads her scent all over her territory to advertise her availability to interested males. The supracaudal gland, located near the base of the tail, is used for scent marking. This vixen is in luck. A male or dog fox chases after her. After a few days of courtship, if the two are compatible, they'll form a pair. After mating, the male usually sticks around to help raise the pups. But that's not always the case. Yuki, a female, is by herself. In around two months, she'll give birth. But it's not her first litter. The average female gives birth about four times throughout her life. Yuki may no longer have a mate, but she's got other family. It's now May. A late spring has arrived on the northern coast of Hokkaido.
On a small rise of land, at the edge of a windbreak, a Hokkaido red fox emerges. It's Yuki. She's built her den into the side of a small hill. All the tunnels are connected inside. In some red fox dens, these tunnels can go as deep as eight feet. Yuki is not alone. Her one-month-old pups, or kits, are peeking out from the den. Red fox litters average about four to six pups. Yuki's got 10. At the top of the den, another vixen shows up. Surprisingly, Yuki's pups race up to this female and start to suckle. But this is no outsider. It's Yuki's adult daughter, Koyuki. And Koyuki is a mother too. Four of the ten pups are hers. Mother and daughter have joined forces to help raise this large family. It's not uncommon for a young female who has just had her first litter to return home for help. Just like humans, a grandmother can calm the fears and anxiety of a daughter. And without a male around, Yuki could use the help of another adult. While Yuki stays back at the den babysitting, Koyuki is out on her own, hunting. Red foxes have a highly varied diet. They feed on rodents, birds, reptiles, and fish, as well as many types of plants and grasses. A fox's hearing is very acute. They can hear the squeaking of a mouse 300 feet away. Koyuki just got the family dinner. The spring air gradually warms the damp earth. Animals like this Japanese pygmy woodpecker and the Eurasian red squirrel are busily looking for food. Hokkaido sika deer fill the woods and prairies, enjoying the sweet young grass. At the den, Koyuki has brought back fish for lunch. She heads out again in search of more food. An uninvited guest drops by and expects to be fed. The scared pups dive for cover. Lunch is over for the pups. Alerted by the commotion, Yuki checks on the pups. She senses a far greater danger hovering above the den. A white-tailed sea eagle has spotted the little ones. Yuki sounds the alarm. The pups know exactly what to do. Adult foxes are too big for the sea eagle but the pups are vulnerable to an attack. It's all clear. This large family easily draws the attention of predators. And for Yuki and her family, this den is no longer safe.
It's June. Birds like the Siberian ruby throat and the stone chat have flown in from the south to spend the summer months. But the den is silent. Yuki, Koyuki, and the ten pups are all gone. Yuki's territory covers a little over one square mile. She has at least seven dens. Half a mile away from the old den, the family has settled in. Hokkaido red foxes are very cautious animals. It's likely they move to make sure that the sea eagle wouldn't make a second attempt at the cubs. The pups are growing day by day. They are taking their first exploratory steps out of the maternity den. A pup begs Koyuki for some milk, but she refuses. It's time the pups were weaned. And that means the pups need a lot more food. The new den is close to a lake. In early summer, a variety of fish species gather to spawn. Yuki is an expert at fishing and the shallow water gives her an advantage. She's caught a big one, almost two feet long. When food is plentiful, red foxes often kill more than they need, hoarding the extra by burying it in the ground. But with 10 young mouths to feed, the siblings even fight over food. The two vixens have found a clever way to make the hunt for food a little bit easier. The den is situated next to large tracts of farmland. In early summer, the grass is mowed. Mower blades make quick work of any chicks or mice hiding in the tall grass, providing easy kill for the red foxes. It's just a matter of gathering the spoils. Back at the den, it's Koyuki's turn to babysit. The pups are practicing their own hunting skills. And they're learning to hold their own, even if it's just fighting off their siblings for a bigger piece of fish. Koyuki barks out an alarm. The white-tailed sea eagle has spotted the pups. The youngsters dive for cover in the den. A fearless Koyuki takes on the eagle, who's the same size as she is. The eagle has met his match. Koyuki is too fierce to challenge. The young vixen is learning what it takes to be a strong mother. It's July, and some 40 species of flower are in full bloom. The pups are now about three months old. They're just as big as grandmother Yuki. 
Koyuki is back with a big catch, a carp. The pups aren't ready to hunt on their own. But they are hard at practice. Slowly, they expand their range and stay out of the den for longer periods of time. Sometimes they even venture into human territory. For one pup, it's a tough lesson to learn. There are other surprises. A Japanese rat snake slithers through the grass. It's over two and a half feet long. The pups have never seen a large snake. They're not quite sure what to do. Snakes make a good meal for red foxes. This one's not venomous, but there's a trick to how to catch it. Koyuki arrives to show the pups how. It's all in the timing. The pups need to learn quickly how to become proficient hunters. It won't be long before the only food they get will be the food they catch themselves. The brief summer in northern Hokkaido is drawing to a close. The pups are nearly six months old. Now, when the pups beg Koyuki for something to eat, Koyuki ignores them. Another pup approaches Koyuki. She shows her fangs. It's a clear signal to the pups that the time has come to leave the den. A grown-up pup is just like any other adult fox. She drives the pups out from her territory to encourage them to start their own journey. This is her last duty as a mother. Two weeks have passed and the once bustling den is now empty. Even Yuki and Koyuki have parted ways. Outside of the breeding season, foxes return to the solitary life. One of the pups has begun to mark out its territory. Another pup attempts to capture a mouse, but it's a miss. In the wild, more than half of the fox pups die in their first year of life. The young foxes face many challenges, natural and man-made.
Miss Fox didn't make it. It was hit by a car trying to cross the road. But it's not one of the pups. It's Koyuki. One of the pups shows up. It wants desperately to revive its mother. Perhaps it's a final farewell to the mother who raised it. Finally, the young fox gives up and disappears into the bush. It's February. It's been almost a year since Yuki and Koyuki's pups were born. A young female is standing at one of the dens in Yuki's territory. Some females are known to return to their maternal den. Even after having been driven from their mother's territory, This young fox, Kohotu, is one of the pups raised by Yuki and Koyuki. Finding food during the harsh winter months can be difficult. Mice burrow deep in the ground beneath the snow, and it takes a keen ear and a lot of patience to get them. Straining her ears, she pinpoints her prey. This time, the mouse gets away, but Kohotu is resourceful. There's a white-tailed sea eagle, the same type of bird that months ago threatened the pups at the den. Kohotu has no fear now. Kohotu gets her paws on the eagle's leftovers. She's trying to survive her first winter. Young female foxes can reach sexual maturity at nine to ten months old. Kohotu is already attracting a mate. This time of year, males roam from one female's territory to another. Crouching low, Kohotu draws closer to the male. The courtship doesn't quite work out, and the two part ways.
Hotu has settled in at the den where she was raised. The wail of a fox grabs her attention. The male who rejected her just a few days ago has had a change of heart. He cautiously approaches Kahotu, and she doesn't try to scare him off. Kahotu has got her mate and reclaimed her home. It's the perfect place to bring up a family. Perhaps Kohotu and one of her siblings will join forces. Just as Yuki and Koyuki did, and together raise a new generation of Hokkaido red foxes. <laughs> <laughs>